trees. And, and all the other no bees, the other trees are going to die. Oh, there's no bees. And we would even probably die without bees. We get a, they say we get a third of our food from bees, and I wouldn't doubt it if it's more than that. Okay? So bees are beautiful, and we would probably die without the bees. So we got to save the bees and love the bees and protect the bees. Now, who wants to see some bees? Yay! You want to see some bees, Oscar? Yeah! Huh? Yeah! You want to see some honey? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to three, and you're gonna yell, Show me the honey! Ah, and I count to three. Ready? You're gonna yell it loud. One, two, three. Whoa! Hey, what's up, Tina? How are you? I'm good. I gotta bring some pollen in for the hive. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, yeah, we're making lots of honey today. All right, cool. I'll see you down there. Boo. Hello. I'm Gary Golding, and you're watching The Golding State. And today, I'm going to bring you eco tip number five. And what eco tip number five is, is pass on the knowledge, spread the word, teach others about nature and the environment. And today, I'm going to be teaching elementary school kids about bees and all the benefits that bees offer humanity. And I'm going to be teaching them in their garden at their elementary school and explain to them how bees are also good for their garden. So why don't you join me on Eco Tip number five as I teach elementary school kids about bees and pass on the knowledge. In fact, bee is for brats and you're about to see me teach some. Look at the bees. Look at them at work. Look at that. Oh, oh, I need to tell you something. They're sucky at the honey. Uh, my mom found one of those, the, the honey thing. Can I oh, the honeycomb. You're going to get to hold one right now. Me too. I saw I don't top of Hold on. No questions right now. Look at the bees. Wow. That is cool. That is cool, isn't it? I can see it. That's I can't all. really see that good. I need glasses. <laughs> Hi, Bee. Ah. Hello there. <laughs> Did you just call me ugly? I want to see the other side. Now, see this thing right here? See that thing right there? The guy's taking this out of a beehive. This is a man-made beehive. He's keeping bees, and he doesn't even have to wear gloves. Some bees are so nice that you don't even have to wear protection, really, to, to um, be around them. So not all bees are mean. Bees are, you should love bees. Without bees, you wouldn't have a lot of your favorite fruit and vegetables. And candy. Jaden. Actually, they do make natural candy with honey and stuff too, yeah. And also, hey, check it out. Another thing, they make crayons, natural crayons sometimes, and candles with beeswax. And now there's honeycomb right there. That's that stuff right there. Honey? honey? Yeah, this is honeycomb. You can hold this. You don't want to hold it? You don't want to hold it? Okay, now, now here's how we're going to do it. Here, here's, how, hey, here's how we're going to do it. You're going to hold it down here on the white part because it will get your fingers sticky. And you're going to count to three. One, two, three. And you're going to pass it on. Do you want to hold it? Okay, you got to hold it up, straight up like this. Because this is, I'm going to tell you something real quick. This is how it sits. In the hive, bees make them all together, and the, the, these little things go at a downward slant because it keeps the honey inside. And if it goes upside down, it would all run out. No, that's wax. Yeah, well, because the bees are attracted to the smell of the of the wax and the and the, and the honey. The bee's not gonna bother you. The bee won't bother you. Right there. It's okay. It's over there. He's handling. Yeah. Look, I'm not scared of the bee. I'm not scared of the bee. Bees, do, bees don't attack you. They don't attack you. Wait, could they smell fear? Mm -hmm. They're not like a dog. Now look, just count to three, hold it on the white part. Go ahead, you want to hold it? You hold it. Hold it straight up like I told you. Be very gentle. Feel that? It's wax. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. 
Oh no! Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't give I wouldn't give it to him if I. Uh -uh. Oh wait, here. Watch out! Now this right here. Yeah, that's delicious. <laughs> now that is called nectar because when it does, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have given that to kids actually. Now, it's called nectar when there's no lid on it. They put a lid on it and it becomes honey because they gotta let a certain amount of moisture come out of it, okay? Then it becomes honey. So this is just nectar. Uh, I could just set it right there. I should have given you guys something different. But I'm gonna hang out, I'm gonna have my lunch right now. Oh, you are disgusting. I want you disgusting. I'm disgusting. <laughs> this is what you wear when you work around bees to protect you so you don't get stung. Because they will sting you when you go to their hive and where they live because they're trying to protect it. Because they want to protect their honey and they want to protect uh, their babies. And like, this is their babies. See, look, look how cute they are, little baby. Oh my, they are what? Cute. They're cute little babies. No, I want to just pinch their little cheeks. They're cute. They're adorable, huh? She says they're adorable. They aren't they so adorable? Look. Now listen, hey, shh. I gotta tell you something. Now when bears, you know, you know Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, he goes after the honey. Well, they go after the beehive because they also want the protein and they want to eat the babies. Yes. Now, this is called bee pollen. This is bee pollen. Pollen is what they gather. The you know the yellow part inside of the, inside of the flower. You know the yellow part inside of the flower. Well, look. This this they they, they gather. See that right there? That's that. They get they gathered on their knees. And the knees store because because they go from plant to plant and they spread the pollen so they can make more flowers. And then they bring the pollen back and they turn this into honey and they make what they call bees bread out of it. And they can feed the little baby bees with this stuff. And they live off of it and they store the honey in the winter time. So when it gets uh, cold out and it's time when they're hungry and stuff and they can't go out and get more uh, food, they'll actually eat the honey. But they use pollen to make honey and when they fly around and they get it all over themselves, look, they, look how messy that bee is. Ew. Pollen all over them, right? <laughs> no, that's good though, because they pass it on from flower to flower. And bee pollen is very good for you. Um, you can eat bee pollen. Now look, that's a bee swarm. If you see something like that, another thing, hey, tell your parents, don't call the city, don't call the fire department because they kill them. There's people that you can find nowadays that will take the bees. This is what I do. I take the bees and I find a home for them and I give them to people that want bees. Okay? And yeah, people want bees and take care of them because they make, uh, they get all the honey and they sell the honey and, they, and it makes your garden produce a lot more fruit and vegetables. So, you have a question? What about African bees? Africanized bees, that's a good question. Now, African bees, they sting more, they're more aggressive, and they're more dangerous. And, but, there's also a thing where it's turning out that the Africanized bees might be what saves our life because they have the strong genes and they need hardly any resources to make a lot more honey. And as, it's, as, it, as it looks, they may end up, as our bees collapse, the Africanized bees, by making it up here, may end up saving us. So they, they're not, they aren't some killer, they could be a lifesaver. All right, there you have eco tip number five. Pass on the knowledge. Spread the word. Thanks for watching The Golden State.